I would say it's more about the differences with the, the new drill or osseo shaping protocol, which is, is, uh, is an innovation. And it's not so much that we are addressing challenges, so much as evolving to a different way of doing things. Well, I like the idea of the whole concept. The idea of having a trioval shape head uh, has some benefits in terms of placing the implants into a narrow bone, for example but also it maximizes the amount of bone on the buccal aspect of the implant, which is helpful. The system has been designed from the sort of top down in the idea that it's not just uh, the implant, it's a concept of using the base. The N1 base has the idea of having a transmucosal abutment, which you place at the time of surgery, or you can use a, a multi-unit if you're using multiple implants. And I think this is, from a biological point of view, uh, sound and good thinking. Um, the implant itself, obviously it's still relatively new, so we don't know, you know, long-term data. Um, but, uh, you know, it certainly is very promising in, in the, the sort of two or three years that we've been using it. Well, it's, uh, do you have time for a lecture? because uh, it's, the benefit is, is uh, significant from a biological point, point of view because there's uh, established concept of a one abutment, one time concept in implant dentistry. The idea is that when you place the base at the time of the surgery, whether it's a one or two stage surgery, uh, that you're then allowing for the soft tissue integration to occur and maximizing the benefit of having an undisturbed mucosal seal uh, at the transmucosal component of the implant uh, prosthetic apparatus. And this has the benefit of hopefully uh, minimizing um, any negative impact of disconnection, reconnection of parts, and also ensuring that you have a highly biocompatible material in that soft tissue zone, which uh, will enable uh, the hope is that will enable a better muco integration and therefore a better seal around the implant for long-term benefit from a biological perspective. At the time of transmucosal connection, in other words, where we would normally place a healing abutment or perhaps a temporary abutment, then I would always place a base or a multi-unit. Well, hopefully they benefit because it's a step forwards, it's progression and you know there's new technology which we will hopefully see in the longer term will be beneficial. Um, I think you know from a, a subjective from a subjective viewpoint the uh, patient probably feels a different experience of the implant placement because the the drilling protocol is is different, it's much gentler um, and there's less vibration and noise and so it feels uh, probably feels less invasive I think for the patient. Well I'd recommend it to everybody to try um, but you know as with any new system there's a learning curve so it's understanding how to many how to handle it well um, how to get the best out of it and this doesn't happen by the first attempt. I would say I, I use it in the vast majority of the cases, not all, but the vast majority of the cases. And uh, I think, you know, if you're prepared to invest in the experience of learning the system, um, then uh, you, would, as another practitioner, would also use it. three words <laughs> yeah maybe that a biologically orientated concept there you go there's three words <laughs>